Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and I hope everyone's having a good weekend. This first story is a breaking story and there is no real media coverage at the moment. It's the blogs and also the police statements that I'll be referencing in this video. Yesterday, the Wireless Festival begun in the UK with performances from artists from all over the world and it was headlined by Future, who brought out Drake as well for a performance that some described as a surprise. But everybody knew that Drake and Future are travelling from America to the UK and they have performed at Wireless before, so it's not really a surprise. Capital One Extra said that he surprised fans at Crystal Palace Park for his first performance of Way Too Sexy alongside Future. The Canadian hitmaker hopped on stage with his collaborator to perform the first live event of the Way Too Sexy song, which is inspired by the band Right Said Fred from the 90s or 2000s or something like that which is actually an English musician. When Drake got on stage, he said, London, what's up? And then he said, let me tell you something. I don't remember what this shit feels like. I just want to take this all in. All these beautiful people, I've missed you so much. As part of the UK takeover, the rapper even changed the OXO Tower in London South Bank to the OVO Tower. And that is his brand, October's very own. And this is the only thing that he's posted to his story on his social medias to confirm that he was actually there. And the story that has broke this morning via UK Gossip TV on Twitter is that somebody got shot and gunshots were fired at an after party at the Rosewood Hotel in the local area. UK Gossip's initial tweet said that there was an after party for Drake in the Rosewood attended by many artists, but it allegedly got locked off after five masked gunmen let off gunshots. A man was allegedly shot in the shoulder and outside a group of girls were fighting in the street. Their source said that everybody ran out for the side exit to the hotel. So these were some really big claims that were made by the blog. And now I can confirm that police tweets have actually stated that there was a shooting in the area outside the hotel. Police said they were called at 3.56am to a firearm discharge at or near the Rosewood Hotel in the High Holborn area of London. Officers attended and put a crime scene in place and inquiries are underway to establish what happened. There were no reports of any gunshot injuries or wounds, so that would be different to what UK Gossip said. But of course, it's gossip initially, so you have to find out the facts. They say at this early stage, there's been no arrests and inquiries are ongoing and they request information from anybody that wants to help. So that confirms that there was a shooting at this hotel yesterday. But like I said, there's not much documentation of many people there. And it wasn't an official after party as such because all the after parties for wireless are listed online. There is an after party tonight. There is an after party tomorrow as well. And one of them is hosted by I'm Just Bait. One of them will be at the Joiner in the Worship in St Paul's, London. The other is at Station Buildings and the third one will be at Ruby Lounge. So of course this is terrible news to hear from London but at the same time the Wireless Festival hasn't had a bad review at all. There hasn't been any reports of major interruptions or violence as well. So congratulations to everybody that managed to perform after not being at an event in so long. Artists like Rimsey who have come out of prison after serving 13 years managed to turn his life around and get himself on the main stage alongside artists like Drake, Future and also Post Malone. So I really appreciate you joining me for this breaking news and update and I'll be back again very shortly with some more. Please don't forget you can find me online as well at Scar City Studios on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok and for the latest updates on the website at ScarCityStudios.com. Peace. So as I said, this is a breaking news story and I'll definitely keep you updated if anything does come from this. But you have to be careful with the tabloid media that they will try to glamorise things and also try to exaggerate as well. There is nothing to say that this occurred inside the building as of yet. It occurred nearby. It doesn't even mean that it involved Drake necessarily. But I'll definitely keep you updated on any official updates. And please don't forget to get the latest on the website at scarcitystudios.com.